Is it okay for you? Uh, yes, I think you can start. Okay. So, hello everybody. I, I'm uh, sorry not to be in Palencia with you uh, and uh, even not to, to be connected to the meeting, but I, I, I have to, to uh, participate uh, another uh, meeting uh, uh, that I, I cannot uh, avoid. So I will say you uh, a few words about um, the intellectual output six, uh, citizen involvement in forestry, and um, mostly about the MOOC. So first, uh, let's say a few words uh, about AgroParitech. AgroParitech uh, is a national institute of technology for life, food, and environmental science. It's a higher education institution depending the degrees from master level to PhD. And you have uh, on the left some, uh, some statistics about AgroParitech. And you can see on the right that they are distributed on several sites. Uh, in mainland France, also in uh, French Guiana. And uh, Paris is uh, the most uh, important site. And uh, Nancy uh, in uh, Eastern France is, is uh, the second site by, uh, by the side and the number of students uh, hosted. And uh, our Nancy campus is devoted to forest and uh, environmental management uh, issues research and uh, training. So the general context uh, concerning this uh, intellectual output uh, is uh, the growing interest uh, in the general population for forests. Citizens, uh, in fact, have a growing interest for forest and forestry, but in the same time, a decreasing connection with forestry. Some of them uh, are critical towards forest management and uh, they, they want to uh, understand and to argue with professionals. And others are uh, in search uh, for a more meaningful job and want to prepare a, a professional retraining. Another population that uh, we are targeting uh, are the, city, the students and especially the students in forest science. Uh, they are coming from uh, an increasing uh, diversity of uh, backgrounds. And for example, we have uh, today some PhD students that, uh, are, um, uh, that are preparing a PhD uh, in forest science, but uh, have a background, for example, in biology and no background at all in forest management. And more generally, other populations uh, are interested in, in uh, having more uh, knowledge about forest. For example, uh, local representatives, uh, mayors of forest owning communities uh, have to uh, discuss forest question, questions with their citizens. And uh, also some people working in the wood sector with no background in forestry uh, would be very interesting, interested in knowing more about uh, forest management. That's why in um, before the virtual uh, forest project in uh, 2020, Miriam Fournier and I decided to develop a MOOC. So this MOOC is based on uh, the contribution of uh, the two of us. Uh, Miriam is uh, a senior researcher from uh, INRAE, the National Research uh, Institute in uh, Agronomy and Envi Environmental St Science. She's a senior researcher and uh, her trajectory uh, led her from wood science to uh, collaborative works with social science. And uh, myself, I, uh, I'm a forest engineer with a background in forest management and forest management planning. And uh, I have been working in the research development uh, domain for more than 20 years now. 
So we gathered some uh, regional fundings and collaborations, some inputs uh, from uh, the public and the private uh, forest organization. And we decided to Im implement our MOOC on the platform uh, of um, the French University, uh, Fun MOOC platform, which is a governmental MOOC platform uh, that provide, provide provides sorry open access MOOCs. So here you have the the web mail the, the, the mail web address form. So the, the MOOC run uh, in uh, 21, 22 and 23. So here you have the, the number of attendees uh, of uh, for the, the three these three sessions. Uh, the number of attendees that we obtain uh, session was uh, really a surprise for, for us because we uh, it's a MOOC made with uh, limited uh, means and uh, we made almost no communication we had no mean dedicated to uh, to communicate uh, the MOOC uh, became uh, uh, well the the news about the MOOC circulated within several uh, networks and uh, the number of attendees grow uh, uh, during the, uh, the session. So the, the session uh, in, in the forest is uh, in fact the third one, the 2023 uh, session that received three more than 3,000 attendees from uh, 78 countries, but most of them of course from France. And during this uh, session we provided in transcription of the uh, training content. We proposed a webinar on forest health with a presentation of the, the Silver Alert platform uh, by UFC. And UFC provided also uh, a challenge to the, the attendees in order to stimulate uh, their participation. And the podcast of the webinar from and received uh, nine and two views. So, to, to give you a general overview of the, the MOOC contents, uh, some uh, slides about the program. So, it's a five weeks uh, MOOC. You have here the, the title of the, the five uh, weeks. The first one is dedicated to what is a forest. The second one to uh, management, what does it mean for sustainable forest. The third one deal, deals with the sector. The fourth with uh, the sustainable use of food. And the, the last one about innovation in forest management. Each week uh, is composed of uh, five to seven lessons. So it gives you uh, an idea of the, number of the total number of lessons. Uh, a lesson meaning a video, a training, and some supplementary materials. Uh, and uh, a weekly evaluation. Uh, for the moment, uh, provide in English only the lesson content. And of course, there is a final evaluation with a, a badge delivered if the, the attendees, uh, the, if the attendee uh, has obtained uh, more than uh, of more than fifty percent of uh, correct uh, answers to, to the, the quiz. So, for example, the the first uh, week. <coughs> Uh, deals with the following question. What is a forest? Where are the forests? Uh, what are the different types of forests? Uh, the, uh, the basal area notion is introduced. And uh, the last uh, 
lesson is about uh, the forest in connection with its environment. The second, wood, uh, the second uh, week, um, well, turns around the, the concept of sustainable management with, uh, in, in the first lesson, uh, a reflection about the, the purpose of forest management. The second lesson, lesson about uh, uh, forest ecosystem services and uh, especially carbon and biodiversity. The third lesson about the threats to forest and especially clear, clearing and degradation. Uh, and in the in the last uh, three lessons, we uh, deal with uh, forest management, with renewal, renewal, and uh, forest management planning, and uh, the forest sustainable management uh, stakeholders. The third les lesson is about silviculture, it's growth, uh, questions, uh, growth in a, uh, in a stand, uh, the diversity of species and temperaments, uh, even edge management, irregular uh, high forest management, and mixed stand uh, management. The four weeks about uh, wood, um, presents uh, the, the different use of wood, uh, what happens between uh, timber um, uh, collection in the forest and uh, the wood uh, use in, in a home, for example, uh, the link with uh, forest management and forest uh, and wood use, uh, and so on. And uh, the last one, uh, innovation, touring, uh, 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 collection, innovation, uh, innovation regarding harvesting, uh, new species in the context of climate change, uh, etc. Innovation in, in the wood uh, engineering, innovation in, in the govern governance field. So, uh, like I said for a moment, lessons, the lessons content is provided in, in uh, English. Uh, and um, the lessons uh, in English combined with the videos in French uh, can be useful for, uh, for, for example, students interested to study forestry in France. Uh, the, the contents in English uh, are also a basis for uh, any collaboration to develop uh, more uh, uh, European contents uh, with uh, the addition of uh, supplementary materials from uh, other countries participating to to the project. Uh, the, the 23 session has just uh, closed, but of course, is uh, any of the of you participating to, to this uh, webinar uh, are interested to um, access to, to, to the platform, uh, I can uh, give you uh, access even if the session is closed. So, I suggest that we collect the email address of any of you who are interested in order to provide you access to the platform. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you very much. Nice presentation. Uh, so now before going for the coffee break, I think it's the time to ask some questions. We have four or five presentations. So if there is anyone have any question, either online or here in our room. So please, now is the time.
Um, actually, I have a question about the mock. I was just curious about it when I was searching the ETF today, so it was cool. But I would like to know your view about what would be the main challenges that you encountered when um, doing the mock. I mean, about participation, about the comments, what was your view on that, the main challenges? Um. Thank you for your question. Uh, in fact, uh, making the MOOC was uh, the first uh, experience of uh, this sort for me. Uh, and uh, it's, it's uh, a very big work because you have to provide, um, you have to provide in, uh, many information in, in a very short uh, time. So, um, it's a, quite a job to, to do that, but um, I was helped by uh, the experience of Mary uh, who uh, is uh, making uh, each year uh, a general presentation of forest and forestry for the first year student of AgroParisTech. So the MOOC was mainly uh, the general structure of the MOOC was uh, was uh, um, designed from this experience and uh, from the question of the students and uh, from the suggestions also of this uh, one year student uh, in the uh, engineering master uh, of agroparitech and uh, for for the um, the participation as i said we met very little efforts to, to, uh, to provide information and communication uh, about the MOOC. Uh, but uh, even this year, we have uh, more than 3,000 uh, attendees. So we are helped by the general context. I mean, uh, the, the people want to know more about forest, and uh, that's why we have so many uh, attendees. And we are also helped by, uh, by the platform which provide uh, information about the available MOOCs uh, in the, on the platform. I don't know if I answer your, your questions. Thank you. Any other questions? Come on. <laughs> I think we have uh, many people online. So any of the attendees online, any questions? Okay, I have a question, uh, Miriam. I want, uh, or I would like to, to know, as following the previous question, what do you think is the impact of making this work to make forest and forestry science available to the mass public? What do you think is the impact? You were talking about that there is a great participation uh, in your uh, in your part. So, can you please emphasize what um, is the impact? Thank you. It's uh, difficult to, to, to say exactly, but maybe we, we will know more uh, about this uh, soon, because this year, uh, a colleague from um, Belgium, uh, from the University of uh, Louvain-la-Neuve, uh, made a study um, uh, involving the MOOC attendees in order to evaluate uh, how the MOOC um, participation changed uh, their, their, their vision, their representation of the forest and forestry. So uh, we will have a more um, accurate uh, vision of the for the moment, the only elements uh, that we have are the, the feedbacks from the attendees. We receive quite many feedbacks uh, from uh, attendees from these uh, different populations uh, that, uh, we, that I presented on the first slide. And also the forum, the discussion with the attendees provides some information, but I must say that this year I had absolutely no time to to um, discuss with the workers. Uh, so it, it uh, requires quite much time. Thank you. 
So if there is no more questions, we make a break now. Uh, I might invite you people online to, to, to come in here for the coffee, not possible. So we hope uh, you all continue there after 30 minutes, okay? Have a nice coffee break. Thank you very much. So see you in a while.